here is a case of bilateral URSL with right RIRS in 14 months baby girl. This baby girl presented with excessive crying and immaturia for 15 days. Ultrasound has shown right renal calculus 9.4 mm, right ureteric calculus 9.7 mm with hydronephrosis, left ureteric calculus 5.8 mm with hydronephrosis. In view of the bilateral hydronephrosis, we have directly taken up for the URSL without CT as to avoid radiation and the ultrasound picture is clearly suggestive of uh, uh, ureteric stone and hydronephrosis. These are the ultrasound pictures. With this uh, ultrasound report and clinical evidence, we have gone to the uh, right-sided ureter which uh, where ureteric orifice is uh, uh, nice and accommodative. So, with uh, 4 by 6.5 ureteroscope, which is the smallest ureteroscope, needle scope from Wolf, is used to uh, make the stone pulverized in the center with the laser settings of only 2.5 watts. These laser settings uh, mm, will dissipate less heat and uh, chances of damage to the ureter are less. Once uh, the stone is uh, fragmented, Repeatedly ureteroscope is taken out and in so that the water as well the small fragments come out by themselves and pressure will not build up. Further ureteroscopy proximally has shown impacted PUJ calculus which is reflected in the ultrasound just at the PUJ. This uh, is uh, tackled with flexible ureteroscope because with rigid ureteroscopy the stone anyway may go up into the kidney and uh, water outflow also with rigid ureteroscope may not be adequate. Flexible ureteroscope is passed and the stone has directly gone into the upper calyx and very low energy and frequency 0.8 joules and 8 hertz that is approximately 6.4 watts is used to make powder initially as much as possible. Without access sheet the movements in the children with the flexible ureteroscope are difficult. Firm holding at the entrance meatus level and rotating micro movements will help in reaching the uh, the surface of the stone on the desired location so that the mucosa is not touched. Once the fragments are made uh, then popcorn is used with uh, energy setting of 0.8 joules and 10 hertz. Once adequate powder is made um, and all the fragments are made into the small uh, very tiny fragments then RGP is done to document that there is no intravasation and extravasation. This is the RGP showing clearly at the end of the surgery. Uh, there is no radio, uh, radio lucent shadow at the background of the contrast. So confirmed that all the stone is cleared and 3.5 French 16 centimeter stent is placed. Now because the right side procedure went well, left side we have done similarly on the left URSL. Again the ureter key opening was uh, adequate and this stone was freely mobile. That's why guide wire pass so that it will not go into the kidney and we can avoid RIRS. So this guide wire helps in non-migration of the stone and the stone was there in the lower ureter only. Same settings of 2.5 watts, uh, homium were used uh, uh, at uh, center of the stone to make the fragments. Once the small fragments are made, they are removed with the basket because uh, 4 by 6.5 scope normally Either laser fiber, guide wire or basket only goes. Pneumatic lithotripter or triprong or biprong forceps does not go. Uh, this uh, encircled type of basket uh, which is used in uh, URSL is very useful to remove all the small fragments through the scope. Uh, but preferably the smallest fragments are done with the uh, lithotripsy only. This is sitting on the stone and working on the surface of the stone. Occasionally you may touch the mucosa but uh, will not affect if it is at one point. Circumferentially avoid touching with the laser fiber and this uh, basket is helping to remove the stone fragments, very tiny small fragments. Because the guide wire is placed, uh, mm, it did not go up into the PCS. So we could avoid the RIRS. This stone particularly is taken for analysis with a basket and this analysis is done in all pediatric children and metabolic workup is done after 12 days of the stent removal. Analysis and metabolic workup are expected to come. 
this left side rgp is done before putting the stent again to see to rule out uh, intravasation and extravasation guide wire was there still the end after putting both these stents the uh, foley's catheter drainage is done for uh, 8 hours and patient discharged next day without any fever without any complications so in children where bilateral ureteric stone and rirs can be done in single setting provided the ureter is accommodative water outflow is good and surgery duration is short like less than 15 to 30 minutes thank you